folks, I have a need. A need for weeds. Sure, we talked about the four types of weed back in our initial update video. However, that was all based on very quick first time experiences with them all. So now we know more and you should too. Forget me lots, fire nettles, till weed, and spiny bindweed. Let's get to it. And right off the bat, we should understand that any random seed planted has a 20% chance to become a weed. So they'll be quite common buggers for sure. But following their initial growth, we'll obviously be able to see whatever weed they are, and that these random weed seeds actually have a 77% chance to be forget-me-lots and a 7.7% chance to be either of the rest of them. But weeds have no specific season, folks, and will grow whenever they wish to. So be ready with the shovel to be rid of them as soon as possible. Cause here's the thing. When left alone, weeds spread. Duh. It is straightforward and quite obvious. Come their full growth, which will vary per weed of course, the weeds themselves look to spawn another weed of their same type in quite a large radius actually. For forget me lots, the first spread happens very quickly, much faster than the others, while the subsequent attempts will take a bit longer. However, with the others, things take a while straight from the start, sometimes close to an hour of real time for just the first spreading. However, it wouldn't surprise me if things do get out of hand because people forget about their farm plots and such. But I wouldn't let things get too out of hand, folks. Especially as weeds here all consume nutrients and water, none produce any. So in short, they are just out to make our new farming life more more difficult. Like the spiny bindweeds, for example. If they are left to grow to their full stages of growth, they will look to protect all nearby plants within a small radius around them. And they're protecting all these plants from us, even if we're just simply harvesting them. Heck, they'll even protect other weeds. But these spiny bindweeds will spawn binding roots, which will deal six damage to us initially, and then look to trap us for a bit. So be very mindful there. Eliminate the spiny weeds before you start picking all the other plants. Forget me lots aren't too bad, albeit they're still a stubborn plant for sure. When you dig one up, there's a good chance, a 25 to 75% chance for another to grow nearby in but two to five days, even without us planting another seed. That said, if there are more than three weeds close by, that chance is actually 0%, so there's that I guess. But another thing to note is that Forget Me Lots also have one additional stage of growth over that of the others, the bolting stage. And in this stage, they cannot be harvested at all. However, they will still spread. So grab a shovel because they're not going anywhere otherwise. But what if we do actually harvest forget-me-lots? Well, forget-me-lots produce forget-me-lots. No, seriously, the flowers we pick from these weeds share in name, but certainly not in function. For one thing, forget-me-lots restore zero health, zero hunger, and one sanity. For another, we can toss together Forget Me Lots, Honey, and Ice for Don't Starve Together's newest crockpot recipe, Soothing Tea. Initially, the tea will restore 3 health, 0 hunger, and 15 sanity while increasing our temperatures ever so slightly. However, when we take a sip, our sanities begin to gain over time for a full minute for an additional 30 points of sanity. Very, very nice. So all right then, how about these tillweeds? Well, if tillweeds are left alone, then they not only will spread all the same as the others, they will actually spawn additional garden detritus every one day or so too, which isn't terrible actually, as garden detritus can actually drop rocks, flint, niter, and even gold occasionally, and are easily handled with a shovel. So this could be an interesting prospect for mineral renewability here. 
but when harvested, till weeds provide till weeds. Shocker, I know, but till weeds themselves will look to restore one health, zero hunger, and zero sanity alone. But do note though, we can actually harvest them and then dig them up for two till weeds per one till weed. But, when brought together with normal petals and charcoal, that is, they create what are known as tillweed selves. These things will initially restore 8 health, while it will regenerate 20 more health over 1 minute over time. Also a very nice. But now comes fire nettles, everyone. The fourth, final, and fiery weed. When players get close, the nettles sting them. And this not only deals 6 damage initially, but continues to start to raise their temperatures by 60 degrees over an entire minute. Easily enough time to get us to enter the overheating temperature stages for several seconds, so be very mindful there. And yes, getting stung multiple times is really not a good idea either, so don't bloody do it. Now. If we do actually get to harvest them, the fire nettle fronds that we get restore a whopping minus 20 health, zero hunger, and minus 5 sanity, while also increasing our temperatures by 60 degrees for, yes, you guessed it, a minute. In short, fire nettles could be quite good in winter, but will be very annoying anytime else. But two last notes here, I think, folks. Wormwood players are completely immune to both the effects of picking and or being near fire nettles and spiny bind weeds. So make note there and take advantage. But the other thing to note is that the Lord of the Fruit Flies and his bloody little buggers that he spawns will instantly seek out and create weeds from unused soil plots if and when they can. So be very mindful there. But nope, I lied. An actual third last note, everybody. Unused farm soil has a 15% chance to spawn a weed naturally towards the start of spring and a 5% chance to do the very same if left untouched for a couple days into autumn. So all right then. Now we're done. So, there you have it everyone. The four weeds of the Reap What You Sow update for Don't Starve Together. At least, for now. They may be parasites, but who knows? They could certainly become useful parasites if we manage them well enough. Thanks for watching folks. Well wishes to all. Get them weeds. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye bye.